There's a saying that the fire service has changed more in the last five years than in the last 20. And that's just because technology advances um, are at an incredible pace. Bartlett Fire Chief William Gabrenya says one of the key advancements has been the use of thermal imaging technology in his department and others. It's a tool that our firefighters use to search buildings, to look for hidden fires. It's a great tool to assist our, uh, our operations. We have thermal imaging camera on every frontline vehicle. So on our fire engines, on our, our tower ladder, and then our ambulance as well. Lieutenant Kevin Chapman tells us the devices not only show firefighters where a fire is, they can also log the temperature and determine if someone is trapped inside. The fire obviously is very hot, so that the, the color schemes are very bright, vibrant. Um, humans, Civilians, firefighters uh, are typically more white on the screen. He says those color differences can also help pinpoint the source of the fire and direct their resources to target that spot. We can see heat signatures around uh, the casing of the door. Um, we can see sometimes through uh, drywall, through some building materials as well. Um, so it, it definitely gives us a little bit more efficient process. Everything today now is oil-based. And so it made it used to take a room about a half hour before it was fully involved in fire. Today it's about five minutes. So things have changed a lot in how we uh, view and operate at scenes. Fires they spread at a, a, a much more faster pace than they used to when we when I initially started in the fire service, uh, which gives us a limited time clock when we have to get. Uh, a victim out of a, a, a building. Firefighter and paramedic Sam Sylvester says thermal imaging can shave minutes off search times and lead to better outcomes. Thermal imaging cameras are just one of those things that we've adapted over the years to help us do our jobs better and help save lives and be more safe at our jobs. We're going from three or four minutes to search a room now down to 30 seconds to be able to scan that room and, and know that there's nobody in that room. The technology also helps the department with search and rescue operations. I kind of survey the area looking for thermal uh, heat signatures from a person. Before you'd have to line people all the way up next to each other, three, four feet apart, and have them walk very slowly over, you know, over the path of, that they're, they're searching. Now we can just pop a drone up and we don't have to send anybody downrange. Part of those new search capabilities, a drone with thermal imaging, which they feel takes the technology to a whole new level. We had a large mulch fire in town in which we were able to detect the hot spots so we were able to be more efficient in putting our water onto the fire and effectively got us out of the situation quicker. From a command standpoint, that allows us to have some situa situational awareness on the fire ground. It allows us to keep track of accountability on the fire ground and gives us a, a wide picture of what's going on in that fire ground. Bartlett fire officials say they plan to continue incorporating new tech as it becomes available with the goal of working towards safer and more efficient operations. It's our mission and vision here that we'll continue to evaluate technology and if, if it's going to improve and be more efficient and safer for us, then we're going to adopt that technology. Casey Cronus, Fox 32, Chicago.